In other big news across Texas today, there's been a breakthrough in a 34 year old case known as the yogurt shop murders. Back in 1991, four teenage girls, Eliza Thomas, Jennifer and Sarah Harbison and Amy Ayers were tied up, shot and set on fire at the Austin shop. Over the years, there were arrests, convictions and even a death sentence, but all were overturned. Just recently, new technology connected Robert Eugene Brashers with the only physical evidence left at the scene, DNA found under the fingernails of one of those girls. His DNA had already linked him to three other murders in South Carolina and Missouri. And in 1999, Brashers was shot and killed or shot and killed himself during a standoff with police. Family members of the girls welcomed the closure, but say there will always be pieces of them missing. Our reality doesn't change after today. Our families are still too small, still missing an essential ingredient, and we are lesser for it. We have been robbed of a life with nieces and nephews and grandchildren and with sisters to grow old with. The families thanked the Austin Police Department for never giving up on the case. And the district attorney says once the investigation is officially closed, he will apologize to the men who had been wrongly convicted for the murders.